Hello, welcome to the channel. Now this is gonna be a little mini series, three episodes for our three normals, and they are going to battle it out to create three amazing dishes, two portions of each, from a single grocery shopping list of ingredients. And we're only giving them 24 pounds to spend. Plus, of course, as always, we want no food waste. Not going to be easy. Okay, boys, time to go shopping. You've got 24 pounds to spend each, but just 15 minutes in the store to hatch a plan. Oh, this is not going to be easy. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I've got a bad feeling I'm going to be overspending here. This is hard. No, a leopard tata. Oh, I can't find what I need. I really hope I've worked this out correctly. Got a bad feeling this is going to be tight. Okay, boys, you've got your ingredients. They have also picked their names out of a hat to work out who goes first. Mike, you're starting us off in three, two, one, go. Wow, okay. Whoa. Let's get some pans preheating. What's your first dish, Mike? Deconstructed, <laughs> or open as I like to call them, steak sandwiches <laughs> with caramelized onion, pepper, and a homemade mayo on the side. Cheese steak on ciabatta, because I got some oh. cheese as well. Representing Philly, I hear. That is a bold... Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> I'm not putting my name to that. Mate, that is a bold, expensive start. Well, it, you think that, but actually, you can make one steak split two ways. So actually, my £4.30 that I spent on that steak, it's really £2.15, a portion of the main bulk of the dish. It also means that I can use the ciabatta in other elements of my week's meals. So I'm starting off with peppers and onions sliced. They're gonna go into a preheated pan with some oil just to cook and soften. So we've asked you today to buy everything that you're going to use with the exception of salt, pepper, sugar, and oil. Again, gonna get a little bit of oil on there. Would love some butter, but I can't afford it. So in this instance, are you using all of each ingredient in this first recipe or are you sharing any? I'm not cooking anything that's going to be shared, but I have bought, for example, a three pack of peppers and the other two are going to be spread across the others. A three pack of onions, the same with that. The ciabattas, I bought two packs. So ciabatta here, but ciabatta later as well. What's he call this? A nuance. A nuance. This is a nuance of rubbed garlic, which let's be honest, I don't know what I'm doing with that. So I'm going to dice it and put it over the top instead. You've had a third of your time. 10 minutes in. Garlic is one of those things that we don't consider to be food waste because it has a shelf life beyond the week you're using it if it's stored properly. We would say the same for mustards, for things like hard cheese, like a parmesan, or even a bottle of wine. If you open it and use a glass, the rest will keep for cooking purposes for a week or two longer. Right. <laughs> Mayonnaise. Which way around are you splitting your eggs? Uh, the yolk is, nope, the white is going in this way. <laughs> Sometimes I just let fate decide. <laughs> so the way I'm going to try and judge these to keep it fair is I'm going to score each of your dishes out of 20. I'm going to give you a score out of 20 for your planning and your clever use of ingredients and your diversity and inspiration. And I'm going to give you a final score out of 20 for your efficiency in the kitchen. And therefore, you'll have a out of 100 score and we can compare you. Garlic in here just so now it doesn't burn. I like the fact you're adding in the garlic later on once the other stuff's had a chance to colour. Garlic is likely to burn quicker because it's full of sugar. There is, there is panic. There is panic. Why is there panic? There's no panic, there's just urgency. Panic. Very heavy handed on the mayonnaise. It looks like he's making soup. I'm making lots. Don't, don't do that. So, <laughs> oh. No, no, I'm talking to people at home. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've done a barry there, haven't I? You have done a barry there. So my suggestion would be a clean bowl, <laughs> one egg yolk, a little bit of mustard, salt and pepper, and then drizzle in the mess you've made slowly but surely as it emulsifies. It's really hard to stand on the side and be judgy knowing that it's going to flip round like, in the oh, next yeah, two completely. videos. Oh uh, yeah, It doesn't feel hard from here. No? It feels like you're doing a really good job of being really judgy. Leave yourself resting time and we want that nice rosy pink middle. If that was served well done, it'd be sent back. Really? I think so. Oh. Your approach was to time it, fine, but obviously every steak is a different thickness. So better to do it by eye, really hot pan and sear it, but then base on the, the, the pressure point, the texture as you cook it, so that you don't overcook. You are whizzing your way through the time, and I, for the sake of the fire alarm, 
How's your grill looking? Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is just what happens, doesn't it? I think these are quite done. <laughs> oh. Anybody who says that our normals aren't still normal, we didn't hear him properly. It's a mistake sandwich, <laughs> not a steak sandwich. <laughs> Very good. Well, what I like is he's saved his mayonnaise, I think. Five minutes remaining. Recipe one of three. <laughs> this, I think he said this was his quick one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, there's, there is such a thing as punching down. The use of lemon as like an acidity mm -hmm. is really smart if you don't want to go to the effort of buying a full bottle of vinegar. However, vinegar is obviously cheaper in the long run once you've got it in your staples cupboard. What I'm guessing is to do here is use some of it in this dish and carry the rest of the lemon across the week. Right, look at this, lovely. Ooh, just slightly Medium rare, in the we're middle. Lovely. <laughs> Last 90 seconds. I don't operate well under stress. I haven't got any flavour on that ciabatta anymore. <laughs> He's just given up. Can I have a blowtorch, Ebbers? Uh, yeah. Last 30 seconds. Please melt. <laughs> Please melt! <laughs> mayonnaise. Five, mayonnaise. four, mayonnaise. three, mayonnaise. two, no. No. one. On the side. Wait! <laughs> Mate, the great news is you're a third of the way through the challenge. Oh. We'll taste them all at the end, but you're set with a clean kitchen again for your second dish, and your 30 minutes starts now. So dish two, breaded turkey milanese with mm. home-style potatoes. Nice. A lot more process in this one. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to cube up uh, two of my pack of four potatoes. <laughs> that got hot quick. Salt, pepper. Cover. I'm going to keep an eye on those. <laughs> Foreshadowing. You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm dicing up an onion. It's going to form the basis of a tomato sauce. I've got a tin of tomatoes. So we've given you a £24 budget, which is kind of what our food team always work to when they're planning sidekick recipe packs. So that splits across three meals, two portions of each. So it works out about £4 a portion. But in doing that, you are going to have bought ingredients that will add to your dry store, which means over time it will become cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. You might have a bulb of garlic left for next week, mm -hmm. some mustard, you'll certainly have some flour left. All of these things mean cooking at home from scratch gets easier and easier and cheaper and cheaper. You've had half your time. I am going to use one of my eggs, the flour that I bought, to have a panne station, along with the zhuzhed up breadcrumbs of these just disgraces. We're also gonna throw into the mix today two skills badges. So, this is how the leaderboard looks as it stands. And the badges are food waste, applied with clever use of ingredients and avoiding waste at the end. And the second badge up for grabs is meal planning or recipe planning. So this is a balance between budget, share of ingredients, but also not getting bored of the same things night after night after night. Seems to be in control. 10 minutes left. Are you happy your turkey's gonna do in that time? Yeah, I think so. Onions are getting there now. So let's go in with chopped tomatoes. Using half his herbs. I don't know if you can tell, guys, but I feel a little bit more in control. Six minutes remaining. Seasoning triangle remains important. Tomatoes love a little pinch of sugar. That's great. Watercress and rocket. Three minutes. I went for the wrong size plate, it's so diddy. Last 90 seconds. Five, four, doesn't look like you need it. Two, one. Yes, Recipe well done. Two, done. Strap in and let's go again. Third dish from the same bag of grocery shop ingredients. 30 minutes on the clock, go. Think big fresh sa salad with lots of peppers, leaves, onions and baked potato with coronation turkey. Oh. Nice. Hence why getting this mayonnaise right is pivotal here. Stabbing just releases any of the pressure on the skin, so don't go bang in the microwave. You've got a microwave. Just gonna fry off my turkey breast. So just one breast between the two. Are you bulking out with boiled egg or anything else? No, I'm gonna have to use the egg potentially to fix this. So low, slow, steady dribble, and it should thicken up. Finally. <laughs> Nice. Ah, Lebec. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to flavour the mayonnaise with some curry powder. Roasting this, frying this, or is it just a raw pepper salad? Just raw pepper salad. 
But now you said that, it sounds <laughs> like a raw pepper salad isn't good enough no, for you. No, no, not at all. We've got some wonderful recipes for sort of <laughs> summertime gazpacho, some panzanella, some kind of uh, fatouche kind of vibes mm, where delicious. the raw salad is lovely. Potatoes are done. You're giving your potatoes a 10 minute head start. Now they're going to preheated oven. I would take that turkey out of the pan because I can still hear it sizzling, which means it's still cooking. You have 16 minutes left. Ooh. Let's get the rest of the charcoal off of my other crouton. 12 minutes remaining. This was the only fresh herb available in my store and some freshness is better than no freshness, I think. Got some olive oil, so let's do a big old drizz. Squeeze the lemon juice. Let's have a look at these potatoes. Five minutes. The turkey can, has now cooled enough. That can go into my mayo. That's an interesting ratio. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have gone the other way around. I'd have put a little bit of mayo into the turkey rather than the turkey into all that mayo. <laughs> my coriander. No, you're having all the mayo, mate. <laughs> That's like a coronation soup. You can't it's serve not. that much mayonnaise on anything. That's great. Last couple of minutes. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of salad. I do love the coronation chicken though. It's the raisins that make it for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's the, it's the fruit that's the good bit, isn't it? Don't punch down. <laughs> <laughs> Croutons making use of char, <laughs> char chibata. We've lost Barry. This is midweek cooking when you haven't got a plan and you haven't got a chef in your pocket. I have done enough here. Well, it's even more depressing when they're all lined up next to each other. <laughs> Let's dig in. You've got good sear flavour on the steak, but it's definitely overcooked. Sorry. The caramelisation on the onions and peppers is really good, and the seasoning on the mayo is good. But let's be honest, I don't think any of the elements are quite as you would normally cook. No, I properly lost the plot. It all needed, in hindsight, to be executed perfectly to even be good, and none of it's executed even well, so it's terrible. But the idea of a steak, onion, pepper, mm. cheese sandwich, I think is a strong idea. However, your second dish had a much clearer vision. What I like is the upcycling of your ciabatta to turn into crumb, to bread it. The turkey's delicious. The home fries are cooked nicely, with a good amount of colour and season. Mm. And that sauce is the right level of tangy and sweet. Solid effort, and I would eat all that. I'd be happy with that plate, mate. Very happy. You, you mean you wouldn't? Have... No. <laughs> <laughs> what I am liking as we move down is the sharing of ingredients. There's an onion there, there's an onion there, there's an onion there, plus potatoes shifting, plus the bread. Like, there's a lot of shared ingredients. The third plate, however, <laughs> I'm also confused with. Ironic is the one I'm looking forward to most, though. What, out of interest? <laughs> yeah. Surprised. <laughs> So for me, I think salads can be super exciting. In this instance, I think there's too much raw onion and the croutons are neither rejuvenized kind of soggy bread in a panzanella, which is delicious, neither are they crisp enough. They're just kind of a bit like stale, chewy bread as opposed to a crouton. So I don't think that really works, but cheating with the microwave to get the jacket potato in gear and using the mayonnaise in a third dish mm -hmm. does make sense. I just think your ratios between mayo and turkey don't make it particularly nice. I'm gonna be honest, Mike, <laughs> I'm somewhat underwhelmed. I found it really, really hard with the sharing of ingredients and no waste, and it forced me down avenues of things that I wouldn't usually cook. And what you see in front of you here is exactly the reason why we developed our Psychic app, to take all of the hassle, all of the thinking and all the planning out of cooking midweek. It's free to try for 30 days. All you do, pick your recipe pack, buy your ingredients, cook up three much better delicious <laughs> meals. Oh. I'm going to cane you in it. <laughs> we will reveal the scores at the end of the mini series when the other two have cooked. But comment down below, what do you think of Mike's effort today? Don't do that. And then next week, as you're up. No, oh, no.
I'm just going to add a splash of water to get those onions going a bit quicker. That doesn't work. That's never worked. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, man. 